Hey, how are you? Jack Scalfani here, and it's time to do an international dish. It's called halouski. I'm almost sure you guys are going to correct my spelling and my grammar, but whatever. I'm used to that by now. Anyway, it's a Polish dish, obviously from Poland, and it is very simple. Uh, and I'll show you some of the ingredients. It's just a, a handful of ingredients, but it tastes amazing if you just cook it right. It, anybody could do this. Kids could make this. Adults, don't even worry about it. Bachelors and college students. It's really good. It can even be vegetarian or I can have a little meat thrown in. I'll show you how that works. Before I get you started on the ingredients, I just wanna tell you that I have a three episode uh, series coming up for winter, uh, and all three are kind of uh, soups and stews and that kind of thing, uh, except I'm missing my third episode. I haven't decided yet. I wanna do a chili, but what I want you guys to do is to help me on the chili. So the third episode is going to be a chili recipe. So what I need you to do is submit your recipe, Okay, send it to me on facebook.com slash cooking with Jack and put your recipe up there and I'm going to pick one of your recipes and that's the chili recipe that I'm going to do. I'm looking for some really delicious uh, special ingredients that aren't normally in chili. That's kind of what I'm looking for. So if you guys got a little secret recipe you want to share with us, I'll make it happen. So let's get into this right now. Come on in close and I'll show you the ingredients. Okay, now this looks like a lot of ingredients. It's really not. You got your cabbage and your noodles, those are the two basic ingredients, with some onions that we're gonna grill up, a little butter, a little uh, pepper, and some olive oil right there. And we're also gonna use this coarse uh, salt, uh, sea salt. This recipe was brought to me by uh, Beth Ann, and uh, she submitted this to me via the internet. Uh, she says it was really popular. She used to live in Pennsylvania near the Amish. She wasn't Amish, but she lived near there. And she makes this all the time. This is her recipe right here. And I just want to thank her for the recipe. Uh, but I'm going to add a little bit to it. She makes it this way. This is the vegetarian way. There's uh, no meat involved. But I'm adding a little bit of meat. I'm throwing in some bacon. I'm going to grill that up and crisp it up and crumble it into the recipe. Because I just feel like it needs that little extra kick. Okay, now I'm going to cook all my... I normally cook bacon in the uh, frying pan. But I need some of the bacon uh, fat left over. So I'm just going to go straight into the Dutch oven and cook all my bacon. You guys can use a frying pan if you want. But I'm just going to throw it right in. Okay, now you know me. I hate to waste time. So while this is all cooking up, keep an eye on this. Keep moving around. And go slice up your onions. Uh, and go slice up your cabbage. You want about two inch slices like that, so just slice them long ways. And get those ready, just get those on plates so you can add them in when we're ready to do that. Okay, you can see that most of the bacon's crisping up now. About two more minutes and I'm gonna pull this out, put it over here to drain on the napkins and then we're gonna dice that up later. As you can see, there's a lot of bacon fat still in the pan. I'm going to drain out some of this. I'm only gonna say about half of it. Give you an idea what it looks like. So see what's in there? I'm going to get rid of about 50% of it. Alter this recipe however you like. If you want to do shallots, you can do shallots. If you want to do scallions or green onions, go ahead and do that. Okay, as you can see, the onions are becoming a golden brown, so it's time to add the cabbage in. Okay, keep it going. You just want to keep working the, uh, the cabbage in. It's going to soften. It's going to shrink up. And just keep moving around. Keep mixing around until it's all cooked down. And the cabbage is also showing a golden brown like the onions. Now is a great time while this is cooking down is to get your water boiling and get that ready for the noodles. As you can see, it's breaking down nicely. When it's about halfway there, I would start adding a little bit of salt and pepper for flavoring. Couple pinches of salt. That'll work. Now it's time to put the noodles in. By the way, uh, some people in, well, some people, all the people in Poland usually make their own noodles, but I'm just using the uh, extra wide egg noodles. So 
You can make your own if you want. That's a whole other episode. I don't have the time to make it on this episode, so I'm just using the wide egg noodles. So the way I like to uh, do the noodles, uh, you do them all Dante, and what that means is they're, it's like almost done, and it's got a lot of firmness to it. You're probably one or two minutes away from it being fully cooked. And you want that because once we add it into our mixture over here, it's gonna cook a little bit more and it will be perfect. Drain the pasta real well. Pour it into the mix. Drizzle a little bit of olive oil on top. This is when you put your bacon in. And if you want a little bit more seasoning, because this is the last step, you're gonna cook this down. And then mix it all in and you're gonna you're gonna cook the macaroni till it starts to show a golden brown goodness. I know you can taste it, can't you? You can just feel the bacon bits on your tongue and the flavor all through the caramelized onions in there. Okay, I think the most amazing thing is the, the noodle to cabbage to bacon ratio. And with the caramelized onions, look at that. Is that beautiful? Plenty of vegetables in here, amazing flavor. And you can balance it however you like. You want more cabbage, less noodles? Have at it, but look at that. Doesn't that look great? All right, let's give this a try. Now I'm gonna bring Jack Jr. in to try this too. One of the reasons why is because I try to use him to prove that kids like it too. Trust me, he'll tell me if he hates it. He's not, uh, he's not looking to pitch anything. <laughs> so there you go. Um, and it also, you know, if I tell him, hey, hey Jack, you want some, uh, uh, cabbage and noodles? He's like, ew, serious? You're making cabbage and noodles on the show? I'm like, hey, you want some halluski? He's like, okay, sounds like a dessert to me. <laughs> so we're going to have him try it in a minute. But let me just give this a try. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, wow. It's hot. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Mmm. Okay, the bacon does it for me. I <laughs> can't help it. Um, cabbage still has firmness. I love it. And the noodles aren't too heavy. They're here and they're there. But this is basically a, a cabbage dish. The noodles just enhance it a little bit. Uh, it's beautiful. In fact, I'm not going to eat that bite. I'm going to say that for Jack. Let's get Jack in here. Jack! Yeah. Come on in. Okay, now before you take that bite... If you don't like it, be honest and tell me, okay? Okay. Blow that off. It's really warm. Dude, why such a big bite? Don't take after me. <laughs> he always does the covering of the mouth like I do. He just went, oh, lift your head up, lift your head up. It's okay. Mm. Okay. Now, if you don't like it, I'm good with that. Seriously. It's okay. It's okay? Mm-hmm. You're not a cabbage fan? Well, it's not that. It's like, I don't really like oil. I'm not a big fan of oil. It's not. It's a, well, a little bit of olive oil. Can you can taste the olive oil too? Mm -hmm. Can you taste the bacon? Mm -hmm. Does that help it? Mm, a little bit. <sighs> okay. Get out of here. <laughs> All right. So my son didn't like it. See, I'm honest on the show, but I think it's awesome. And I'm going to eat the rest of this bowl because uh, I haven't had lunch yet. So you guys take care. Make this. Tr trust me on this, okay? Just make this and then post pictures on Facebook for me, all right? I'll see you guys on the next episode. Take care. Sometimes I like to bring Jack Jr. in just to prove that I'm not just saying everything I make is great. And I pass on... Out! 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 Get out of the kitchen! I love that dog. And it's time for another international dish. Dish? Did I say dish? <laughs> Take 400.